I know what it's like to be a broke hairstylist. My first year in the industry, I ate nothing but cereal and tuna sandwiches for an entire year. I was told at the beginning of my career that 80% of the hairstylists made 20% of the money and 20% of the hairstylists made 80% of the money. And I was definitely in the 80% of hairstylists that was making only 20% of the money. Like think about it, I couldn't even afford to eat. As much as I didn't really like talking about money or talking about math, I knew I needed to change. Otherwise, I was going to have to switch careers because I couldn't live my life not being able to afford to eat. Like, that's crazy. And I would think, I would say the industry has changed a little bit even more. I would say now that 90% of the hairstylists make 10% of the money and 10% of the hairstylists make 90% of the money. In today's video, I'm going to show you what $9,000 in nine days is going to look like in your books. If I didn't start focusing on numbers, I knew that I would have to be in a totally different career. I'm so glad I did because now I am living a life that I've only dreamed of for years. But before we get into the video, I'm just going to go and get some fruit for the day. Hey, I'm back home. I'm gonna jump on the computer to show you what a thousand dollar a day looks like and where you need to get yourself if you want to be bringing in a thousand dollars a day. Now, I have a little bit of a disclaimer. I'm not saying to just solely focus on money because, to be truly honest, that's not how I built my business. It wasn't thinking about dollar signs. I actually never thought about the money. I wanted to do it for the love that I had for the industry. So what I will say though, is as much as some of us hate math, we can't hate math because money is math. So we have to learn basic math just to have an idea. I'm actually gonna get some fresh air before I jump onto the computer. So back to numbers. I may not have always known what my exact retention rate was, but I at least knew what a retention rate was and I knew that my retention rate was high. I also didn't always know my exact profit margin, but I knew it enough to know that I was walking home with money at the end of the day and not spending more than I was making. It's really important to have a basic understanding of your numbers just to make sure that you are walking out ahead. I get it, sometimes it really sucks, but if you're serious about turning your passion for hair into a career, it is so important for you to get familiar with all the numbers that you need to know. If you want to learn more about the numbers that you need to know, head on over to Naven.com and snag yourself a spot in our 10K and Play e-course. In there, it will go through all the details of all the numbers that you need to have a basic understanding of. I promise you, learning your numbers is easier than you think. And once you have a basic handle on it, it only gets easier from there. Okay, let's go back inside and jump onto the computer. Hey guys, I want to show you what your books will look like when you're bringing in a thousand dollars a day, because sometimes when you think a thousand dollars a day, it's so unattainable, but really it's not, especially when you have a lot of chemical services. So I'm going to go through my calendar so you can get a general idea of what your days need to look like. Um, first, this is my revenue sheet from March 17th to April 3rd. I worked nine days. I did have a couple of people, big colors cancel actually, because they're feeling under the weather. Here you'll see the money earned in that time was just over nine grand. Um, and I'm just gonna, I'll come back to this sheet actually in a second. So we're gonna go through week number one right now. I color coded everything. I whited out the name, but you can kind of see. So you can see mostly it is a lot of color work. I put the men's cuts in the same blue, so you can see I have just a couple of cuts here. I had one woman's cut, but the other ones were all colors. So here I had a bigger color job, I had another color job, and then another color job. This one is the biggest time, right? But you can look at this one. This one's only an hour and a half, 
but it really increases your revenue totals when you can do chemical services. So then the following day here, again, um, I only worked half day here because I, oh, here was a client that was sick and a color and haircut and another color and haircut here. This day was just two massive color jobs, right? That's why colors are the bomb. Here, a color job, color job, one haircut for a woman, one haircut for a man, another haircut for a woman, and then another color job. Here again, color, one haircut, another girl that was sick, um, and another color job. Color, color, haircut, haircut. Look at this, this is a big color job here. Big color job, color job. And then here, color, a men's cut, a woman's cut, another woman's cut, another man's haircut, and then another color. Well, this I add a lot of cuts actually, cut, cut. And then this last week, I just worked a couple of half days as well. Color, color, just a couple of little cuts here. And this day was mostly cuts. You, we have one color, but then we have cut, cut, cut. And then I had a, another color reschedule here. So I think I had three colors or maybe I think I had two here. I had three or four colors reschedule. So just imagine what the revenue totals would have been had they not rescheduled. But that's okay because the amount of revenue that I brought it in that little amount of time is amazing. I get to live abroad for however long and then come back, earn some decent coin and then go back and live my dream life. I have to say, I wouldn't trade that for the world. Next. I wanted to show you two revenue days and what the difference would be like. So this is from March 21st. You can see here, look at the revenue totals in that day. Let's go look at March 21st. I believe that's this week, what that day looked like. Yes, March 21st. So on that day, I had one, two, three colors, two women's cuts and one men's cut. So that was a pretty full day. It, I started at 9.30 and I didn't finish until eight. So that was like a really long day for me. But if you look at the revenue from the day, so it was, uh, I said 9.30 to eight. So that was a 10 and a half hour day. So that's pretty good for 10 and a half hours. That's not including my product costs, but product costs and foils and things like that, of course, are minimal. Well. Depends what you're using, minimal compared to this. So I definitely walked home with over a thousand dollars that day. The reason why we're talking about revenue is because the revenue total is the dollar amount that you're actually charging your clients. It is the amount that you're ringing out for the day. In our booking system, the profits shown here aren't quite accurate because it's only showing you the cost deductions of taxes and other things that are pre-programmed into the system. It's not taking in, into account all of the service costs that you will have. Think of other costs you want to include are your commission or rent that you pay, any product costs such as color or foils, any styling product costs that you would use for back bar at the end of your service, and any other associated costs with providing this service. Okay, so now that we looked at that day, let's look at September 26th. It's a day of two colors. We have a color that started at 9.30 and finished at 3.30. That's a six hour color job. And then I had another one that started at 3.30 that went till 6.30. That was a three hour color job. So in total, my day was nine hours long um, and just two people, but I wanna show you how big the revenue was. And I actually gave the first girl a little bit of a deal because she was going from jet, jet black hair to platinum white blonde. And she was going to need a second lightning just to give it that extra boost. So I knew she was expecting a little bit more of a bill coming up in the next couple of weeks. So, but look at how great that day is, right? And it was simple for me. I love color days because then you're not washing and blow drying every single client. It's actually quite lax. And as they're processing, you get to eat, you get to check your phone or do whatever it is that you need to do, get caught up with your life. And uh, yeah, colors are the best. And then we have this day, this is mostly cuts. This is the last day. Let's bring up that day in the calendar as well. This was April 3rd. So on this day, this is the day that I had a bunch of cancellations. So it was kind of just like a half day here. I had one color and then the rest were cuts. And that revenue total day was significantly smaller. 
my name. But for only working from, what time is that? 9.30 until, I can't even see what time that says. 9.30 until, I think it says about three. So that is five and a half hours. That is pretty good, I think, if you ask me. So the goal for you is to get a lot of colors into your day. If you can get two or three colors, wow, like you're going to be laughing. Now, the key is you need to be doing that every day. So the number of clients you need is way more than you think, but you need about 450 clients in order to be fully booked every single day. And um, not necessarily every day. If, if you're working a, a full five day a week schedule, yeah, about 450 clients. If you want to learn more about the numbers, sign up for 10K and play. We go through all of the details of all the numbers that you need to know because all good CEOs and you are a little CEO of your business, you need to know your numbers. You need to know how much money you're bringing in, how much money is going out, how many clients you have, what your tension rate is, and all of that other good stuff. I know sometimes it sucks to have to deal with numbers, but like I said, money is math. You don't need to know a lot of complicated math, but you need to know a little bit of it. And again, I didn't really focus on the money in this way. I just focused on the energy and I just knew that my retention rate was high and I knew my average ticket per client was high. I just knew those general things. You won't well, you will, but it, I, I don't think it's as fun to become successful just focusing primarily on money. So it's just important to know so that you can make sure that you are generating money because at the end of the day, you need money for life to go around and you need money to live. And you're not doing hair just for fun because at the end of the day, we're all adults and we all have bills to pay. So another way, just really quickly before we get out of here completely, I just wanted to show you what oh no no yep this one how much retailing can make a difference so you can just look in this here one client yellow bought three products here and um, so a little blow dryer uh an event fix and event texture and so 70 and then let's say let's say that's 60 so about 130 dollars added to my day and I didn't really do anything. All I did was check out my client and make sure that he was taken care of with things that he would need at home to do his hair. So in the 10K and Play course, we have a whole bonus module on how to properly retail to your clients. Because at the end of the day, it's not about selling your clients something that they don't need. It's about helping them to recreate what it is that you did at home because that is super important. They are your walking billboards. At the end of the day, they're coming to you to look and feel a certain way. Not just when they leave the salon, but every single day that they choose to do their hair until they come back and see you again. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you now have some insight into what your days need to look like or where they need to get to in order for you to get to the thousand dollar day. Remember, we all need to start somewhere. So take one step every single day and before you know it, you'll be exactly where you want to be. If you need any help with your pricing structure or getting familiarized with your numbers, head on over to men.com, snag yourself a spot in our 10K and Play e-course because it goes through everything that you need to know to help you get to those $10,000 a month paychecks. Bye.